Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're going to be doing a full face using all new makeup. I'm going to be using all the makeup that I got in my like last three hauls. Did lots of hauls, so if you haven't seen those, I will have them linked in the description. And I will also have the first one right here in the cards, so you can watch that one and just like go on a binge of watching my hauls. And then you could come back to this video and see me try everything. But yes, everything I used today on my face, I got from those videos. And I love the way it turned out. I feel so extra and so glam. I just wanted to beat my face today so that's exactly what I did and so if you guys want to see what I think of all this new makeup let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so my skin is looking horrible, so we're going to start with complexion today. I'm going to go ahead and prime it using my Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Up Primer Spray. This is new, but I have already tried it, and I really love this primer. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over. The spray is pretty intense, but... Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, so now that I got my primer on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we'll be back on camera to try my new foundation. Okay guys, so brows are now on, but before we jump into foundation, I do wanna conceal the veins under my eyes, so I'm gonna be using my new Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Swan. I have already tried this, but this is a new color, so I'm really excited to like actually try it out because before I had to mix it with everything because it wasn't the right shade, and so this this one should be light enough now. And so I'm just gonna pop this right on top of my veins. I feel like I'm the only person that suffers with veins under their eyes. Let me know in the comments down below if you have the same problem because I feel like I'm the only one. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my Damp Beauty Blender. Ooh, that's a light, but it's okay, I like it. That Too Faced Primer Spray makes my face so tacky. I forgot how tacky it actually gets. Okay, and for foundation, we're going to be trying the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. It's not super new anymore, but it's new to me, and I got the shade Vanilla. So hopefully this gives me some good coverage, because obviously I need a lot of it right now. I have like this giant pimple right here, and it hurts so bad and so annoying. Um, I'm about to start my dot, <laughs> and so... I really need some coverage, okay? Um, so let's see if this color is going to be okay for today. It doesn't have a smell, which I like. And so I'm just going to apply that with my Damp Beauty Blender and see how it goes. It's supposed to be really, really matte and like a medium to full coverage foundation. This foundation is actually pretty pricey for drugstore, I feel like. I think it's like $15, $16. And to me, that's like ridiculous. Drugstore for foundation, the most it should be is like 10 bucks. At least I feel like. But I did get this 40% off. So I ended up getting it for like $8 or something like that. So she a little light. But I'm going to use a darker powder. And it does oxidize, I believe. Because it looks like it's oxidizing on my hand. So it's covering everything pretty nicely. My scars are peeking out just a little bit so I might have to go over that one more time just to get super full coverage but so far so good okay guys so I zoomed you in so you could see what the foundation looks like I did build it up a little bit right here it's still kind of peeking out just a tad bit um, and it's looking a little bit dry right here where my pores are but like I said I'm extra dry today I don't know why maybe it's just because of the weather I don't know but it looks all right right it's already starting to crease right here I hate when I crease right there, but so far it looks like really smooth, especially like on my cheeks, but we shall see. Okay, now for concealer. I do concealer twice if you guys don't know, but I'm going to be using that same one we used before the Too Faced, but this time I'm also going to be highlighting the face with it, so I put a lot. Hopefully this will help um, the pore area look not so dry because this concealer is not very drying. And then also right here in the center of my forehead. And then as an eyeshadow primer. And then just blend that out with my damp beauty blender. Okay guys, so this is what everything looks like blended out. I feel like I'm looking really cakey right here and I don't know why. Something is not mixing properly. 
Um, but powder, we're going to try a new one today. This is from MAC. It's the Patrick Star Set Powder. I'm so excited. So this powder actually has like a pink undertone and usually the setting powders that I do use have like a yellowy undertone, but they tend to darken my concealer. So I'm kind of excited about this one just because I feel like maybe it won't do that since it has that pink undertone and the packaging is just to die for. It's so pretty. So it comes with a little puff, which I'm not going to use because I don't want to get foundation all over it and make it ugly. So I'm just going to set this over here. And then you just peel off this paper. Ooh, satisfying. It doesn't have a smell, so I'm just going to shake this up a little to get some powder. I'm just going to press this on top of my concealer and just keep pressing until the powder kind of like disappears into my under eyes. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see that? <gasps> Wow, it just looks so smooth. Oh my god. I should have bought more than one because we're sold out now. And it's never going to be back. Oh my gosh. I wish they would make it a permanent product just because we don't have a loose powder at MAC. Except for the Prep and Prime, which that one is like stark white. So I don't really like that one that much. Wow, my pores are so blurred as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I bought this. Do you guys see the difference? Look how smooth it looks. And then look at this side, it looks all dry and crepey. Wow, it is a little bit darker than this side just because the powder did kind of just darken it, but not as much as like other powders just because it has that peachy pink undertone. It's a really light pink. Here, let me show you. That's what the color looks like. So I feel like that's why it doesn't darken my concealer, which I like. Okay, I'm gonna do this other side now. And I'm just gonna use the same powder to go ahead and just set the rest of my face. So while my face is baking, we're gonna move on to the eyes for a little bit. And so I'm gonna be using my new Juvia's Place, the Warrior Palette. I'm so excited, it looks so pretty. So these are the colors right here, they're so beautiful they're just like some nice warm shades and I also wanted to use my new brushes from it cosmetics they have some really nice eye brushes in here so I want to try these out as well so the first brush I'm going to use is this one and it's called shadow look at the barrel it's just so sparkly and pretty I love it so I cannot pronounce these colors for the life of me so I'm just going to show you the ones I'm using so I'm first going to take this color right here it's kind of a base shade but it also has some peachiness in it so I don't know how it's going to show up on the eye but I'm just going to use this to go ahead and set that concealer on my eyes so I'm a little scared to use this palette I'm not going to lie just because this girl at work she had swatched it on her arm and she had like allergic reaction to it to where she started itching like a whole bunch and I've already tried Juvia's Place eyeshadows before I have the masquerade palette and it had no reactions to it and then also when I swatched it on my arm at work I didn't get itchy so I think I'm gonna be fine but I don't know it just kind of freaked me out that that happened to her so this shows up a lot warmer on my eyes but it's okay it makes like a really pretty transition shade so since that color showed up a little bit more peachy I'm gonna take the same color but on a different brush this one is called crease and that's exactly what I'm gonna use it for I'm just gonna dip it into that same color and blend this into my crease like as a transition shade then with that same brush I'm gonna dip into this warmer brown right here and I'm gonna put this one more into the crease so I feel like these colors look a lot darker in the pan than they do on the eye but it could be just because like I set my eye and sometimes that lightens the shades but so far no itchiness which is good Ooh, that's a beautiful warm brown so these eyeshadows barely have any powder kick up which is really good considering we did our face first but my face is looking a little dry so I'm gonna go ahead and buff away this bake I'm gonna use like a darker powder to buff it away just because I am looking a little light today okay so moving back onto the eyes I'm gonna take the really really dark brown in the palette with my MAC 217 and I'm just gonna use this to go ahead and deepen up the look so in the outer corner and then also a little bit into my crease so far these are blending really nicely then I'm gonna take a little bit of that orangey brown that we used in the crease just to blend everything out I'm just gonna keep packing on this brown until I get the intensity that I want all right so I want to use one of the golds on my lid but I don't know which one they're both so pretty Ooh, I think I want to use a darker one this one Ooh, that's gorgeous okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease off camera and then I'll be back to throw that on the lid these are so pigmented do you guys see this wow 
And it's so affordable too. For that quality, man, it's so worth it. Okay guys, crease is cut. Now I'm gonna take this color on the top right here on a flat brush. And then I'm just gonna blend out any lines that we have. And I'm gonna try this dry and see how it looks on top of like the tacky concealer. Ooh, that color is so pretty. I'm gonna go in with my finger just so I could get more space. This palette is so worth it. Do you guys see that pigment? Beautiful. It's like liquid gold. So now I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush to get right up to that line. You definitely don't need to use these eyeshadows wet because they are very pigmented and foiled on their own. Okay, so I want to use my new glitters. I'm not sure which one I want to use because they're all so pretty. I think this one in the middle matches the best. So this one is in the color Starfire and it's like a burnt orange shade. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to outline this cut crease with my glitter, so wish me luck. Before I go in with that glitter, I'm going to take that dark brown that we used before on a smaller brush. And I'm going to outline the cut crease just so I know exactly where to put the glitter. So now going in with that glitter. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Okay, for my lower lash line, I'm going to try out this new brush right here. It's called the Smudger. So this brush is really stiff and like flat, which I like for my lower lash line, just so I could get really in there. Then taking a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take that warm brown color we've been using and I'm just going to use that to blend out this dark brown. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with this color in the center right here. Hopefully it's nice and shiny. Okay, so I have no new bronzer or contour to try today, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, bronzer's on. I'm going to try out uh, this new blush brush. It probably just works as good as the one I have because it's almost the same. But I'm just going to use like a warm tone blush. I love how heavy these brushes feel. Lately, I've been taking my blush like all right here. Where people usually have freckles. Remember a little bit on my nose. Yep. Love the brush. So I don't have a new highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then go ahead and set my face and then we'll move on to trying the next new product. Okay guys, so I already put some mascara on just because I'm not trying a new one today, but I am trying some new lashes. I'm going to be trying Lily lashes for the first time and these are the Style Miami. Hopefully they fit because I'm always scared to trim lashes because I'm scared I'm going to like mess up the style. So I'm going to go ahead and just try these on and see what they look like. Oh, it has like a little string that you pull out. Look. Ah! Okay. That was not smart. Maybe I should have done it a little smaller. Okay, let's see if these fit. What the heck? There was like a feather in there. Random. Okay, guys. So I think I am going to have to trim them because they look huge. Like they just look really long. But the band is actually pretty thin. I thought it was going to be super thick. Um, my band on my House of Lashes Iconics, the ones that I always wear it, it's actually thicker than these, so that's pretty interesting. It doesn't look like it tapers off, so I guess you could just cut from either side, but I'm really scared to cut them because I don't want to mess them up. Okay guys, so I was too scared to trim them, so I just trimmed off the like little extra bands on the side, so hopefully it'll fit okay now. We will see. Oh my gosh, guys, I love them! And I don't feel it, even though it's like kind of big on me, you know how like if you don't trim it enough, it kind of pokes you in the eye. I don't feel that right now, so, so far, so good. Ooh, I'm excited. It just looks so luxe. Like, do you see the difference? Okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera. Okay guys, so this is what the lashes look like, and oh my gosh, now I know why everybody raves about these. They're so beautiful, and I actually don't feel them on my eyes, so they're really comfortable. I, I wish I bought more now. Um, but for lips today, I'm gonna be trying a new liquid lipstick. So this is from Lime Crime, and it's in the shade Marshmallow. Ooh, it's a lot pinker than I thought it was gonna be. This goes on light, but then it like dries to a darker pink. I mean, it's still a nude, but it just looks more pink once it's dried. So this looks a little bit more pink than I wanted to go for. So I'm just going to put a gloss on top. Plus my lips look hella dry. So this is the Marc Jacobs gloss. It's the gold one in the color Immord. Okay, so that definitely looks better. Now I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and do my hair and everything. And then I'll be back to tell you guys my final thoughts on all these products. 
Okay guys, I'm back and this is the finish look. What do you guys think? You have to let me know in the comments down below. But I finally fixed my hair for the first time in a long time. What do you guys think? I used my new curling iron that you guys saw in my haul. And I don't know, I like it, it's kind of extra. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my final thoughts on all the products I tried today. So starting off with the foundation, I'm a little iffy about this. It looks really dry on my skin, which is kind of crazy because I have oily combo skin. So I thought it would look nice, but it is really, really matte. So I think next time that I try this, I'm just gonna use really hydrating primers and see if that makes it any better. So right now I'm just kind of like, meh with it and to make everything else really fast I actually ended up loving everything I love the way my eye look turned out it's just so glam and so extra and so yeah everything that I used today I loved except for that foundation and so yeah if you guys have any questions about the products I used leave it in the comments down below and that is gonna be everything for this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and also if you're not already subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and subscribe I do make videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so that's three times a week and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye